Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs and cross watchers, welcome to your timeless chakra reading. I am your reader of fellow Earth sign Virgo that I am, Mark Angelo Lyons Mal for short. They're my initials. Not bad, it's just spelled that way. I am a professional witch, a professional intuitive. I am the president of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998. I am the author of two books at the time of this timeless recording. Uh, spell ingredients from a professional witch as well as words of grace from a professional witch. Words of grace has a Kindle version. There is a link in the description box and you can preview it for free and see that it is broken into predominantly chakra chapters, different graces for different chakras. It's lovely, it's clean, it's pristine, it's very Kindle. But the original PDF, which is a Fellini visual film fest, is over on patreon.com slash drawing the circle in our digital store. You don't even need to be a subscriber to shop in the store. Some of my subscribers get both books as part of their benefit package, but all of my subscribers, regardless of level of subscription, get three benefits in common. A daily check-in. I send them an unlisted YouTube live stream link pretty much every single morning. Did it this morning. Had a lot of fun with that. Uh, where we chat about the day's astrological weather, the magical applications, the spiritual implications. Always ending with a prayer, a blessing, a little something, meditation to send us on our way. Best way for me to start the day considering I'm moving to Saratoga Springs in the next month or so. Uh, yeah, it really, really sets up my day for me. Second benefit they get is all the extended readings, the part twos to the part ones here on YouTube. They also get an extensive discount on private sessions with me, spiritual counseling and readings. We'll talk about that at the end of the reading if you want to hang out for that. I love it. We have two seven-day free trials for Seeker and Human, our first two levels of subscription. Everyone who has signed up for a free trial has ended up staying a subscriber, and they are really getting a lot of exclusive content, particularly behind the scenes, with moving this magical place of mine up five uh, hours north of here to Saratoga Springs. So we're having a lot of fun. Go check it out, click the link, click the link, click the link, and come Patreon on Patreon, because I am the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angela Lions, <laughs> but you can call me Mal. Hey, my Tauruses. We're doing things a little bit differently this time because of my moving situation. Uh, there's a video on YouTube, uh, Moving and Looking Forward explains all of this. Uh, so where I usually do many more cards for a timeless chakra read. There are a bunch of them if you want to check the playlist. They are timeless. Uh, this time we are essentially doing a five card draw uh, to uh, get a, a quick look at uh, the chakra spectrum using the eight chakra system that I learned from Caroline Mace, MYSS. She's a PhD. These are her archetype cards. We'll talk about it. Uh, anatomy of the spirit, sacred contracts, and all of that. Uh, so I've been doing these for myself at usually one in the morning before I settle in to go to bed after a busy day, asking my higher self and my pantheons of the divine, what do I need right now? Like just that. So uh, I've been doing this for the past couple of weeks since we went to contract on uh, the new house. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get one Caroline Mace archetype cards for the eight the eighth chakra hovering over your head, which is like the satellite sending down the codes to all the other chakras, shifting what we attract and repel so that we heal, we align, we, you know, evolve, however you want to see that. Uh, then we're going to get one Daughters of the Moon tarot here to get the next four chakras down, heart, third, third eye crown, internal, internal, feminine energy, goddess energy. Whoops, on the uh, inside. Then we'll get one mythic tarot for the lower three chakras for relationships in the physical world as well as how we navigate our way through uh, the physical world, including our honor code and our boundaries and stuff like that. Then we will get a whisper of love uh, from the whispers of love uh, oracle, the voices of your higher self or the higher selves of all involved, if other people aren't involved. And we will end, of course, with a Matt Con healing mantra to help you put it all together. And this is why cross watchers are always welcome on my channel because it's an opportunity for them to get more insight, understanding, sympathy, and empathy for the one they are cross watching for. And even if they just use the mantra here for themselves, they will be helping the Taurus Collective heal, and not just the one they're cross watching for, all of the Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs that are watching the video, right? 
So, um, I guess that's enough explanation. Oh, one other thing. I forgot to do it in the Aries reading. There is a little spell that I do a lot, not just for readings. I've been doing it for the house. You'll hear it come out of my mouth a bunch of times. Uh, so instead of doing the whole, you know, blah, 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 every single time, it's a little bit faster. Because why not? Sometimes simpler is easier. Sometimes fast is a good thing. <laughs> right, Taurus? So both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath if you will. I will do anything that I could do to help anyone come into alignment to become a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser version of themselves. Therefore, shifting to a happier, healthier, wiser, what I call a golden timeline rather than a leaded timeline. We'll be talking about lead and gold in a minute. Um, so yeah, both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath if you will. And let's get into the still point where the shift from explanation to divination occurs, at least within me. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. Pantheonic override. A place for everything. And everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space. What does the Taurus Collective and the Cross Watchers need to know what's going on in the eighth chakra? The Wounded Child Archetype. Let's get these five on the table and then we'll put it together. No, we'll talk about that. We'll get there. We'll get there. Daughters of the Moon Tarot. Heart Third, Third Eye Crown. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. My goddesses override. A place for everything. And everything in its place. Put all where it belongs. In time and space. What do the Taurus and the Cross Watchers need to know? Heart their third eye crown. Ace of Cups. Happiness. Yeah, I like that. That's good for a wounded child archetype. We'll talk about the wounded child archetype. Lower three chakras. Here we go. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. My gods override. A place for everything and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space for the well-being of all and with harm to none. As we will it, uh, so let it be done. What what does the Taurus uh, and the Cross Watchers need to know? Lower three chakras, inside out, looking at themselves, outside in, looking at relationships in the physical world, and we've got the death card. Major Arcana, in a read like this, usually covers all the chakras in that zone, so there is a transformation in play. Uh, lower three chakras, we'll get there. Whispers of love, here we go. Still point. Higher selves override. A place for everything and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space. For the well-being of all and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. Higher selves of all involved. What do the Taurus and the Cross Watchers uh, need to be aware of? The piece of information, inspiration, insight. <laughs> uh, needed from the higher selves uh, for this chakra read. Honesty is essential uh, to be a loving person. It is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. <laughs> Wounded child. No, I don't want to. Uh, let's get this healing mantra. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. Ascended masters override. A place for everything and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space for the well-being of all and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. Uh, what is the perfect healing mantra to help the Taurus and the Cross Watchers uh, align all these chakras, becoming a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser version of themselves? Alchemizing their shadow to light, led to gold, pain to bees, toxic to healthy, fear to love in this time. Let's read. <gasps> Releasing expectations. Only the highest possibilities come to be, whether I envision them or not. Very, very powerful, considering uh, I have used that mantra, it feels like, thousands and thousands of times. So now let's put this together. The wounded child archetype is a survival family archetype. The child, the victim, the saboteur, and the prostitute. Everybody 
everybody has those, even nations and corporations. Uh, in the, from Sacred Contracts, Caroline Mays, MYS says she's a PhD. Written on the card is the shadow and the light. This is the lead and the gold. Three atoms in between lead and gold. Lead is heavier. From toxic to healthy, fear to love, blah, 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 blah. So, the shadow attribute is the lead. Uh, blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds. Now, blaming something is giving power away, right? So, then, because blah, 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 whatever, we all have done it. Uh, resists moving on through forgiveness. Like a kid, well, you know, the child in its innocence is up for forgiveness, as you'll see in the light. Uh, the golden attribute, if you will, awakens compassion and desire to serve other wounded children. Ding, 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 ding. Opens the learning path uh, of forgiveness, which means you don't know how to forgive it when it's happening. <laughs> Freak out, right? But it, it, it's a willingness to, right? There's an innocence, regardless of sub-archetype. In other words, there's more than just the wounded child archetype. Uh, uh, at core, uh, the child is the guardian of safety and innocence, because when a child feels safe, it's willing to see things differently. But if it doesn't feel safe, no way, right? Uh, so, uh, particularly with the wounded child. Now, I have the wounded child archetype, but I also have the nature child and the divine child. You can have all of them. Them. Um, so keep that in mind, particularly if you're dealing with someone uh, who might be a wounded child recent season or lifetime. Uh, with the Ace of Cups on the inner here, we are looking at a seed of happiness. Often the Ace of Cups for me on the inner, obviously heart chakra, emotional, is about self-love. It's about taking that cup for yourself, sort of like the Page of Cups or, you know, brings you that a message comes in and you're like, oh, you take it in. While here we have in the lower three chakras, Hades, Lord of the Underworld. I love him. He's not a murderer. He's don't, don't he's not even the Reaper. I can't even say don't fear the Reaper. He's a Persephone's husband. He's lovely. And to me, he appears as Michael Hutchins from In Excess with pin straight long black hair. Woof. And the wealthiest god of them all. So yeah, God of Wealth, man. Uh, uh, Pluto, energy, you know, that kind of vibe. So a major arcana card can be a person. Uh, it can be you from the outside looking in if you're going through a bit of a phoenix transformation, usually rising from ashes more than going to them. And with that Ace of Cups, I could see that happening. Uh, you can't unburn a cookie, right? Transformation, uh, element of fire aspect to that. Uh, but it can also be a stage in your life, like going through a transformational death phase. And I know people immediately want to associate that with literal physical death, but I don't know that that's the case. This could also be if a death has happened and the wounded child uh, is, is left to cope and deal with this. Now, honesty is essential, says your higher selves. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner, right? So when a child goes, I don't know what to do, right? It's like, oh, sweetheart, it's okay. It's like, it's your fault, right? It's because when I was a kid, I didn't get what I wanted all the time, right? It's like, no, you, you, that is a process. To be open and authentic and truthful about how you are is really important on planet Earth right now, but of course, throat chakra choice here, how do you communicate that, right? Because honesty with yourself, there is no healing without truth, or as May says it, I love her, liars don't heal, or liars can't heal. So I add to that, yeah, liars can't heal, and healers can't lie, so there's always a choice. And if you're lying to yourself about something, which I'm not necessarily saying here, um, that obviously can initiate a lot of healing. So the healing mantra does make sense. Only the highest possibilities come to be whether I envision them or not. Because a scared child can envision all sorts of terrifying things, right? Particularly a wounded child. So I'm gonna read this from the bookie book. There's only one bookie book in this series, and I think this one uh, will be of great uh, service. Let's do this. Releasing expectation. Only the highest possibilities come to be whether I envision them or not, and you got to know, <laughs> right before we went to contract, or pretty much around then, this mantra was big time so I could release my expectations, right? Uh, when you release expectations, it's no longer your job to be in control of reality, because when were we ever on this level of the game? You are a soul birthed from the fabric of destiny, where only uh, the perfection of universal will takes shape and form. 
Aries got this. I'm like, this feels familiar. You guys do this a lot, you horned creatures. Um, once expectations are released, a life beyond your wildest imagination is given permission to enter your reality. And man, I can attest to that just from these past couple of weeks. Uh, this mantra is ideal for having more faith. Learning how to trust, well, in the divine alone, everybody else has bad days, uh, and alleviating disappointment, right, like past disappointments from your childhood, um, there, that does, that, that kind of clicks together in five lovely pieces. Now, of course, in a general read, what the death card means to you will be very, very personal, uh, but that ace of cups on the inside, we all need to drink deep from that ace of cups right now to give ourselves the, the frequency of love that only we can give ourselves, and I would say particularly inner child work, which I've been doing <laughs> since I'm 18 years old. I'm going to be 55 next week. Yeah, no, no, look at thanks. Well, that's one of the benefits of inner child work, right? That light and innocence just shines through. So let's put this together in a blessimation, a combination of the word blessing and summation. Um, I'm going to bless the crap of all of the wounded children in the world, adult or otherwise. Uh, and, uh, and then we'll chat about some cool stuff. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. Pantheonic override. <laughs> we end as we began. As I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine for the Taurus collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers who are watching this video and drawn to this reading, may they be blessed with all that they need to heal, to grow, to learn, to evolve, to be the best that they can be, a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser version of themselves. Uh, while they awaken compassion and desire to serve other wounded children, opening the learning path to forgiveness by first drinking deep of that Ace of Cups, the seed of love in the heart chakra, for that to grow and grow and grow as they do, as things transform, for better or for worse, location, 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 could seem like the worst thing that happens a year later, best thing that ever happened, <laughs> hence we'll get there, uh, hence them being very open and authentic. Uh, about how they feel, that they can be honest in communicating that, but in a loving way, particularly when wounded children are involved here, and all of this done by releasing expectations, help them remember that only the highest possibilities come to be, whether they envision them or not, so that they can alchemize their shadow to light, their lead to gold, their pain to peace, their toxic to healthy, their fear to love, not just within their own wounded child patterns, but for every wounded child pattern alive and kicking on planet Earth, for a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser world in a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser way, for the well-being of all and with harm to none, as we will it, so let it be done. So motivate. And so it is. That was good. I mean, I've been doing them, like I said, myself. And at one in the morning, I have very little defenses left, which is a good time to do divination. But it's so obvious, I just bust out laughing. I really hope my neighbors are hearing that. They're like, well, it's one in the morning and he's cackling again. Yeah. So if you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, comment. All of that stuff just helps other people find the reading. I'm over on Patreon. We've got such cool stuff going on there. And a lot of my patrons are actually, I've got one coming tomorrow to the house to take some of the magical stuff and other stuff that I am giving away. Uh, they're getting a lot of exclusive content. They all get the daily check-ins, the extended readings, and the extensive discount on private sessions. And yeah, she's getting a discount on that. And there is uh, uh, so much more going on. And they keep giving us more cool stuff to do, but you know, I'm moving. We'll get there. Uh, but do check it out. Click the link and come play Patreon on Patreon with the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angela Lions. <laughs> Just call me Mal. And if you want to book me for a private session with or without Patreonic intervention, there is a link in the description box of booking private sessions with Mal explains everything for you, including the Patreon thing, uh, spiritual counseling, which I do pretty much every day with people, uh, readings, which is a bit more formal. Uh, uh, it explains all of it there for you, and we can Zoom record it. All of that's on there, and I've never turned anybody away because of lack of finances in my career, ever because the gods would snatch away my skills, I'm sure, if I did something like that. Where there's a witch, there's a way. I'm a witch, so there's a way. So don't hesitate to reach out if you need help. 
otherwise, thank you so very, very much for watching this video and hang in there with me. We will get back to uh, the longer readings, but right now I need to conserve my energy to pull this move off. Wishing you all the very, very best and the very, very blessed, my beloved Tauruses. You know, us earth signs, we gotta stick together, so hang in there. Heal, hail, farewell, and blessed, blessed be.